DW-9000 series vintage G-Shock watch. I rarely made a video talking about vintage models these days so you know what, I figured I should not forget about them and I noticed this watch is quite popular so that's why I picked this one over other vintage models that I have. Okay, if you look really closely on the watch profile, the bezel, the body design such, so you'll notice it does have a similar look as the currently still being released DW9052 which I'm sure a lot of you guys like. One of the reasons because it is the most affordable G-Shock watch that you could buy today. No matter where you live, I gotta say that watch is really, really cheap, really, really tough, really, really usable, really practical. It's just overall a really great G-Shock watch. And also it represents a vintage, it still carries the heritage in the profile design and one of it is this guy. This is sort of like the great 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 grandfather for the DW9052. In this case again DW9000. The profile is just the same. In fact if you own that DW9052 you could just take the movement out and swap that in here because the size still compatible so that's really really cool. This one specifically came from the clear Skeleton series if I'm not mistaken, it came in green now, really nice condition so that's the uh, other reason why I'm making this video because it is really hard to find one of these today, especially today in these 2019 in this great condition. This watch is really really old so that's why I'm making this video, I have to share this with all of you guys. It's just a rare opportunity, you know. Okay now, this is the overall look. It is from the Extreme series green colorway combination with gray watch band. Yeah, I almost forgot that back in the 90s, Castle G-Shock really puts a lot of apples on making their watch band. Look at that, this is one of the first generation of two layered watch band. So there's something cool. The adapter came in green as well, which looks really, really nice in my opinion. And this watch band keeper, look at that. This is, this is just ridiculously strong. Feature an extreme, some sort of the uh, I would say epoxy over there on top it is really big and it fits really well with the main idea extreme use so that's explain the softness the extra thoughts or extra material added in the design and the construction of this watch band alone not to mention the watch body which has this gray resin to guard the back plate and also for shock absorption as well the watch band has three slots over here and over here for insulation and also for to let uh, water to flow out because this watch is indeed made for ocean or seawater related activities in this case surfing they even if I'm mistaken they even say that this is sort of like a surf timer series G-Shock watch well they, you could see that in here have some sort of pipe design just for the timer graphics so you could see that while you're doing your activity and that's one of the big feature of the watch the graphics in my opinion helps you to visualize the timer, the stopwatch even better in comparison to when you're looking at the time and numbers, you know, visual is much better than numbers so that's why they really makes this part big, even though you still have that down here which is clear so not a big deal. Day, date and time at home time keeping, second mode will bring you into the uh, countdown timer. So in this case it's already been preset to 12 minutes and you'll have time keeping over here of course and to set it up to make it easy and practical, they use the front light button now. So the EL backlighting could be lights up using this uh, lower right button instead of the front button. So that tiny little details really helps with the uh, practicality, especially during sports activity because this one is a lot easier to access, right? And uh, that's for the countdown timers. You can see the graphics will be uh, appear over here, meaning you could see it without even have a look at this. Just a quick glance you know that how many minutes of how many time you have left to finish your activity. Next we have a stopwatch uplift to 24 hour range as well. Same thing again with graphics animations now looks a lot more clearer. And 1 over 100 seconds precision with split time. Next alarm, a single alarm with still time keeping on top. Keep in mind still have it uh, with signal and that's pretty much it. And that back to home time. So that is all that this watch have. The ear backlighting, if I haven't showed it yet, it will glow in green without any backlighting uh, logo though.
it looks cool, it looks great in my opinion, especially in this colorway. But if you don't like it, don't worry. It still features the standard 16mm lug adapter. So you could swap it out to any watch band that you like. You could even use the standard 5.6 or 5000 series watch band on here. And then you are good to go and still end up with a really nice looking G-Shock watch. Okay, there's a quick summarize I would say for the DW9000 series. If you're new to the channel, I'm sure a lot of you guys are. So that all of these newcomers, new people who just introduced to G-Shock won't miss out on this great G-Shock watch because the price is really, really affordable in comparison to all of this new release model. I want you guys to get the best values to get the most out of your money, even if you cannot afford uh, all of those new release models. There are still other G-Shock watch that I'm sure well within your budget, and this is one of it. Okay, that's all, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. I think it's gonna help. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jay Chef, and I'm out. And sorry, <laughs> she got surprises now. Peace.